There are two data points that I thought were kind of interesting that I didn't, uh, you didn't seem to kind of address, but you have obviously some familiarity with uh, prison fellowship, and we did a study at prison fellowship uh, with Byron Johnson did uh, of the, uh, on recidivism, and we did it actually started out with the um, four prisons here in, um, in New York State. They found out if uh, uh, you had uh, someone that went every month to a Bible study program, recidivism dropped to 15% or lower. The average recidivism is 67%. In other words, part of that, those numbers are we just, we've got a system that just kind of recycles people through and you know, we're not doing anything about it. The other part of it is that, that, that breaks my heart is what uh, happens to young boys. Uh, if they don't grow up in an intact family, according to Brad Wilcox's uh, data, uh, they end up in uh, jail twice as often as uh, kids growing up with um, intact families. And you know, we've, we've, we've proved in California we can't build jails fast enough, but no one seems to be very concerned about the families. If we, in other words, part of our, our, if we looked at ourselves with our own culture and we tried to do, you know, we tried to look at the aspect of, you know, encouraging more intact families, encouraging faith. I mean, that doesn't cost, you know, that, that's a huge saver in the, in the budgets. If we ever get, get our act together, we could be balancing state budgets, we could be balancing uh, uh, the, the, the federal budget to a large, you know, or, or we could be moving in that direction. And we could be getting out of the cycle. We've got to do something different to break out of the cycle. Can you comment on both of those? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, I, um, I, I want to say, I have to say, and forgive me, okay, uh, the green eye shade has just come out. As a social scientist, correlation and causality are not the same things. And here's what I'm saying, okay. It can be true that the inmates who show up week after week for the prison fellowship prayer meeting are much less likely to recidivate without it being true, that if I could just get every inmate to go to the prayer meeting, recidivism would come down by the same proportion. The reason being that the ones who show up are self-selected. They are the ones in the inmate population who were oriented toward hearing, if in this case, the word of God, and that might be associated with lower recidivism in and of itself, right? So that just has to be said. And something similar to that is true, just as a methodological comment, about the fatherhood observation. It is certainly true that if I look at people who are in intact families, I've got much lower rates of, of, of socially problematic behavior. It's not necessarily true that if I forced every, if I could somehow in a hypothetical universe, force every family to stay together, or every father to be wed to the mother and bound to the son, that that would produce the same degree of benefit that we see when we make these comparisons because some of those couplings didn't happen for a reason. They didn't happen because the father had problematic uh, uh, mm -hmm. traits that would have made him a poor father. That's why he's not there. So just uh, that's a methodological point. Okay. But, but, but the discussion about these issues in our politics does not sufficiently credit, in my view, the, the personal values dimension of our culture, yeah. which we could certainly do a lot to promote and encourage, right? I mean, we, the people are... They want to be agnostic about it, you know, many people. They want not to be seen to be advocating the traditional family or not to be seen to be sympathetic to uh, an enterprise like prison fellowship, and I think that's counterproductive. So, I, you know, I guess the sum and substance of my answer is, yeah, I was on the board of prison fellowship after all. I must have believed in the mission. So, yeah, I'm with you on that. But as a, a kind of evaluation statistician, I'd want to say be cautious in drawing inferences from yeah. the data points that you were calling attention just, to. They were just so, so stark um, that I take your point of not being, can't always put causality to it, but they were just so stark that why wouldn't we want to make a better effort there? Agreed. 